Wait, we're gonna try this. Do you believe we actually went to the moon? No. Our soul is being used in a system. Mm-hmm, okay. You guys need to understand that there's multiple versions or timelines of reality. And when you keep with these stupid stories, not saying that maybe there's not truth to them, right? Like everything has a little bit of truth in it, right? Because it all comes from the source, right? But when you continue, for what reason, entertainment to basically sell your soul in a sense to these lower timeline stories? Why would you choose to exist there when you have unlimited availability and bandwidth to exist on one that you want? Why are you choosing that one? I just don't get it. Oh, this is a soul trap. This is this. They're trapping us. Okay, yeah, on one level, but then you get to the next level and you're like, oh, wait a minute. That's just one reality. That's one plane. I don't exist there. And then watch your fucking life change when you stop living in someone else's dream. When somebody does have a dream to entrap you, why are you agreeing to play in that movie? Hell no. Maybe it made to break it to you, but come backstage. Yeah, but that's the thing, it's like you think you're choosing, but ultimately your higher power is choosing for you. Because it knows what you don't know, because it knows what you need. So yeah, we can sit here and be like, listen, I want to be roses and dandy and yada yada uda, but like, also make room for the fact that like, you're not suffering, you're learning, you're learning what you need to learn. And obviously your soul or your higher self would never want you to be in a reality where you were sold. Like, that makes sense. But at the same time, if it's like you need to learn a hard lesson because you need it for what's coming so that you can live in your dream reality and where I know you're going to do best, then you got to learn it. You can't, you can't avoid it. You can just not look at it as suffering because it's really not suffering. Like... Always manifest healing, manifest understanding, manifest moving the things out of your way that are limiting you, no matter how hard it may seem to move it, it's not hard. It's just a lesson, it's uncomfortable. All right, I'm trying to write rip and it's not working too well. I used to play Fortnite. Uh, I used to play a Fortnite goal. <laughs> oh, let me get it there. Words are so vast and in depth, brainstorming through oceans of knowledge keeps you growing. I love that because that is what I do is I swim through oceans of life. It's just vast information and dude, it has to be like distilled and there's so much that goes into it. But like if you don't know how to float and to be buoyant, which means you don't believe anything really, because to believe is to believe a lie gets you tied. You're not supposed to say almost like in the witness of it all, but be able to allow it in, to be able to go through that like distilling process with no fear that like me accepting, not accepting, but dancing with an idea to find its truth, to find the heart in it, and then being willing to like move on to the next stance without worrying about, well, if I say this and this is defining me, then I have to stick to this and blah, blah, blah. Like, no. I used to struggle with that a lot because it's like we want to feel secure in identity and what we believe and what we know because it, it's important, but not if you're using it to anchor you down and sink you to the bottom. It's important to help you build a ship to take you to the next place and then you got to get rid of the ship and build another one because that ship's not going to make the journey to the next one. Does that make sense? Maybe that's a bad analogy, but that's just the way I see it in my head. You have the opportunity to live 
in any level you want. Why are we saying that we live in the lower level and putting us down there? I don't know about you, but I'm not living in any lower level. I'm living in fucking beauty. It doesn't mean that there's not sadness or like regular human emotions up here, but it's just, I don't know. The view up here is nice. I highly suggest that we stop telling, again, disempowering stories, more stories, more stories with zero proof or founding other than you heard it somewhere and it resonates a little. Like, poor us, poor us, we're in the victim, we have no power, we're, li we're here, we're stuck in the lower level. Oh, we can't get there right now, we have to shift to the 5D. Oh, we only can go to five when there's more than five dimensions, but we're just gonna settle on the five. Like, come on, do we hear ourselves? You hear how tricky the mind is? And you're just buying into it? Because it sounds good, because it resonates. Babe, guess what? You know why it resonates? Because again, there's a little bit of truth in everything. You're getting a little bit more truth, but that's not the ultimate truth. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Hmm. Some of you are getting it because that was for somebody. I can't handle the truth. Mm. Okay, babe. Hey, I can't handle it. Mm. You guys are so funny. You're so funny. Do you know who you are? Yeah. Funny looking. Now everyone's mad. Imagine if you had to accept the truth. But that means you um, have to accept responsibility. And trust me, it's fucking heavy. I, I avoid it half the time. I don't even want to deal with half the shit. I just do other things so I don't have to remember. nature of my being. It's written on the walls. Literally. Ouch. It's not supposed to be complicated, guys. Ouch. Look how cute. Because ah! I got the I am key. Because <sighs> I spoke to God. Oh my god, okay, they're so cute. I'm making, um, like, desserts for my sister's Halloween party. So I made these little 